So, so I will basically continue with uh, that study of uh, Villas algebras. Uh, but uh, let's continue. Well, let's um, let's direct it to something about the comparison. Uh, maybe mean dimension, then uh, something about the small boundary property. Um, so what is the motivation? Uh, so let's continue with the Villas algebra first. Uh, so, so here we have a Villas algebra. Uh, they can be classified by the, by the, uh, by the uh, more or less by the radius of a comparison, but. Uh, uh, here is the thing you can look. Uh, what does the trace simplex uh, looks like for, for Villas algebra? Turns out that uh, the Villa, all Villas algebra have the same trace simplex, and uh, it, uh, uh, it, it is a Poisson simplex. So th that's a unique uh, uh, trace simplex so that uh, uh, the extremal trace are dense. So X. Traces are dense. Then, uh, then a natural question will be, suppose you have uh, an algebra, uh, Let's only look at uh, H algebra with the diagonal maps and uh, cross product C algebra, C of X, uh, um, C of X cross uh, by some gamma. So then, oh. then question. Uh, so light uh, A, uh, B, H algebra with the diagonal maps. So, 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 so let's not uh, worry about the Villas algebra of the second construction because that algebra has a unique trace, but it's not this stable as well. So let A be uh, AH algebra with a diagonal map. It's, uh, it's some generalization of this. So every connecting maps uh, uh, comes from some um, some eigenvalue maps. Uh, with, uh, at A B H algebra with diagonal maps, or uh, A uh, uh, to be C of X crossed by gamma, so comes from some topological dynamical system. Uh, assume free and uh, minimum, so this algebra is simple. Uh, and uh, and uh, suppose A is not uh, Z stable. Then how bad uh, the trace uh, simplex can be. So this is the. Uh, and that is bad, right? Like Poulsen, is Poulsen bad or, or just bad? <laughs> Our uh, extremal traces are, well, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, yeah, what you mean by bad. yeah I, I probably should not say. Uh, how bad, uh, how... Well, like some simple things you can not, like if it's a single point, the zero dimensional, you can uh, see it. Even if it's any point... Yeah, you know, if this is a... Uh, yeah. uh, that's called the... Uh, maybe I just say, what is this can be? <laughs> I don't know what a bad... The screen points are not closed. Then... then uh, it's 
Oh, gamma is some uh, uh, discrete amenable group. Okay. okay. Yeah, but for the Boltzmann symbols, the extreme braces are not counted. No, no, they are loud, loud. Yeah, it's so homey. I don't care. No. no. Yeah, this is the this basically is the question and uh, and uh, uh, okay, that's a motivation. I can I can give you the theorem. The, 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 then let's uh, back to the question slowly. So this is with uh, George. Uh, so just a look at AH algebra with the diagonal map. I'll, I'll all with this algebra, but uh, let's assume uh, rockling property. So I will explain that later with uh, with the rockling property. Then, then basically uh, we show that uh, uh, if uh, if if a trace simplex uh, is uh, Bar, so those are the uh, the nice simplexes. Then, uh, the the then it has to be this stable. So we we still don't know the answer of this question. How bad it can be, but but at least it cannot be bar simplex. The, the extreme uh, uh, the extreme boundary uh, cannot be closed so, uh, so what is the what's the exact case where uh, we know what's the proposed symbol we we know what we know what proposed in some cases in some cases right? so yes uh, but certainly not dollars. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so I'm just wondering what the difference is between that thing and this one. Uh, uh, yeah, I I don't have any example in between. Uh, well, what, 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 kind, what kind of algorithm are we looking at? Yeah, AH algebra. Well, see, you you can have uh, even AI algebra to realize any trace simplex, yes, but but. I don't, I don't, so, so, yeah, so I don't quite understand the uh, situation. Well, the situation is that if you have a non z stable algebra in this class, then at least the uh, the the trace simplex cannot be bar. Oh, wait, but what is the what are the exact what's the exact setting that we can prove that we actually be able to do it? Well, then Vilas and algebra case, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, so the special case you described. Yeah, the, it's a person. And. Uh, the, the classifiable, non classifiable case. Yeah, yeah. And and also in the geo uh, system, it, it showed the, it showed the, yeah. uh, uh, the Poisson simplex. But, but, uh, for general, actually, for general AH algebra, the diagonal map uniform, and for the top five, so three minimal axes. Mm -hmm. um, and then then um, the question whether um, uh, on, on the diagonal table is equivalent to having a Poisson simplex. That yeah, that's a question. But I mean, maybe I write uh, 
Uh, yeah, but there are no example in this class of six algebras. There is no example. Of, yeah, so theorem is that. So, so this is a theorem, but uh, but now, now the question is, uh, is this phenomena actually uh, kind of universal? So, so this, uh, well, this is the very last sentence. Yeah, yeah, so. So to get there, actually, we uh, we we have to uh, to play with uh, uh, small boundary property, uh, mean dimension, something like that. So let's take a review on, uh, on mean dimension and uh, small boundary property and uh, comparison. Small boundary property, and then uh, mean dimension. Let's start with mean dimension. Uh, so, and uh, and uh, let's uh, 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 And let's consider uh, a space X and uh, a homeomorphism of uh, space X. So here is a homeomorphism. Uh, so so you have a dynamical system, and uh, um, you have this space X, uh, uh, and suppose you have some approximation of a space X, uh, by that I mean some, some open cover. Yeah. So let U be an open cover of X. So you have, you really have a uh, simplicial uh, approximation of uh, your space X. Yes, 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 good. compact. Uh, a metric space or metrizable space. Uh, now, you have uh, this, uh, you start with uh, your approximating open cover. Uh, then you have uh, uh, the homeomorphism. Then, then your, your your system of uh, open cover being translated into a different open cover, and uh, you can keep doing this. So, uh, well, let, let, let's say up to certain stage. So you you have a, uh, you have a open cover translation of open covers, and so on. So then you have so many open covers. You look at their intersections. By that I really mean you pick uh, you pick one open side here, one open side here, one open side here, and then you look uh, their intersections, and uh, you look uh, all intersections. Uh, they give you a. Uh, uh, a new open cover of the space X. Uh, then you look at something like uh, 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 the dimension of uh, this uh, uh, new open cover. So basically, you want to uh, throw away the redundancy and find out uh, the most economical way to cover your space X, but uh, within 
within the uh, this tolerance. So so everything should uh, should be some um, be well be contained in some of the open set here. Uh, then then you look at the orders. I I I probably not going to uh, explain this, but uh, uh, degree or dimension. Uh, and then you, you get some number. Uh, uh, then you look at the average. Now you light uh, uh, you you light uh, the the length of the partial orbit go to infinity. Then the limit exists, uh, and uh, we start with some u. And this is, uh, and uh, and you 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 look at the uh, you look at the supremium uh, over all open cover, and this is uh, by definition this is the mean dimension. This is this is the mean dimension of the dynamical system. And uh, uh, I, I really want to compare this uh, to, uh, to the dimension growth of uh, AH algebra. Okay. So, so here, uh, here we have uh, AH algebra. Uh, you start with X, then uh, you have some dimension. So, uh, so by the way, this degree of this uh, this guy actually is uh, is uh, well is uh, is dominated by the dimension of x, uh, depending on how far you go, uh, the end. Okay. Uh, so you really can think that thing to be a dimension of the basis space. In the first stage, uh, uh, you have a dimension of x, but uh, if you go further, you not only have uh, uh, your x, but also you have uh, you have uh, some translation of it. Uh, the, 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 for for this guy, you really can think about uh, it's uh, it's the dimension over here, the, the basis space. And uh, how far you go? That a capital N is is roughly the the how many eigenvalue maps? Uh, the is roughly the matrix size. So that guy is uh, in the AH algebra with a diagonal map case. Uh, you really can think think it as a dimension growth. Of a h algebras, but this but but this is from dynamical systems. Uh, so so this is a dimension growth. This is a dynamical dimension growth, and uh, and in the a h algebra case, uh, we know that. Uh, uh, if you have a h algebra with a slow dimension growth, then the a h algebra has to be well behaved. So it's z stable. Uh, in this case, in the z, uh, uh, well, uh, in the z action case, yes. And, uh, and uh, we have something here, the theorem. Uh, The mean dimension of x uh, sigma zero. Well, if it has a mean dimension zero, this, this is a theorem a while ago with uh, George. So this uh, actually implies uh, the The cross product algebra 
is uh, z is stable. Uh, and uh, this one yeah and uh, no 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 uh well is uh, i'm just taking a review cool. Not uh, no, no, no. We will uh, try to uh, take some review eventually lead to yeah. a small boundary property. Yeah. Yeah. But, but can you use that theorem to kind of preclude that one? Does, does Can you show that the, minute, the, like, the mean dimension zero implies that the trace of what's with Bauer? No, no. Uh, the, the, uh, in general, that's not true. Okay. You can have, uh, you can have, uh, well, like AI algebra. Uh, uh, something like that. For example, you can have, uh, uh, you can use a Cantor site um, uh, to produce uh, any trace simplex. But the can, uh, if you start with a Cantor system, the mean dimension is zero. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm trying to take a, a review and eventually how, uh, how, why 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 this uh, or how this small boundary property pop up yes this one uh, the uh, the rockling property well uh, yes, there's, uh, for 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 action by Z, rockling property automatically hold, and Z Z to the D maybe holds in general, but. Um, I don't know how to remove that because in the middle of the Maybe just uh, click. Uh, maybe just click on got it. No, no, it's not the obvious on that one. Oh, yeah. oh, this computer, right. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a picture. Yeah, maybe I did just take this chance. I, I take a, 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 I just uh, mention some other theorem, which uh, not that uh, close related to this, but uh, some uh, natural continuation with uh, this theorem. It's, uh, uh, so this is the mean dimension zero case. And, uh, and uh, in general, let's, um, well, uh, uh, in general, you uh, you can have uh, this uh, to the z that to the d. The, uh, then, if you look at the radius of a comparison of this algebra, uh, uh, still minimum and uh, uh, and free action. This is at most half of uh, the mean dimension of the dynamical system. Uh, and uh, and uh, and there's a, a stable rank, topological stable rank of uh, of this guy. No matter it's classifiable or not, it's always a one. And uh, and this algebra actually behave uh, uh, kind of nice is uh, uh, is, is this stable uh, if and only if the radius of a comparison uh, is a zero so it fully satisfies the uh, Tom winter conjecture and so on and uh, yeah, this for z to the d, and, uh, and um, 
and also, uh, well, the, 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 the conclusion also uh, is also true for, for, for some other things, for, for some other group actions. So the cross product algebra or AH algebra with the diagonal maps, they, 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 they can be non z stable, uh, but overall, they, they are not uh, too bad. I mean, it's not like a, a, a Villasense algebra of the second type. That kind of algebra is very bad. It's, <laughs> and, uh, and also this really suggests the, uh, the behavior of the cross product algebra, uh, not twist, just the cross product algebra uh, uh, is pretty much parallel to AH algebra with a diagonal map. Yes. 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 Yeah, this is a general. Yeah. Oh, uh, for general system algebra, yes, for, 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 for Tom Winter conjecture, uh, it's, uh, it's been, uh, not, uh, that part of uh, Tom Winter conjecture, uh, so, so far it's not a fully proved. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the case is now, now basically, with this assumption. Oh. It's a power simplex and the, uh, uh, the dimension of the extremal uh, boundary is finite. Oh, so this is a different case. Then. Yeah. So, so if you restrict to the cross product case, then it's, there is no restriction at all on the trace simplex. Well, if we, are, yeah, we, we, we don't know how general it can be. Uh, yeah, for bad things, yes. It can be anything, as you said. You have yeah. Set, yeah, for candle side, it can be anything. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, is it the most general version that you have? Game the issue, for example, in a state of rank case, so you replace the this by some other group, so it is already known. Yes, and the the comparison of open sides. So so with these two property of, of those holes, and uh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, you mean for general group? Well, okay, yeah, the general group and then it has been crossed. But then uh, it proves this, uh, this, uh, the proof is the one, two, and three holes that are in that CD. Is that the same as the proof? Oh, no, no. The, actually, uh, I, uh, we proved uh, this uh, under the two assumptions, uh, uh, under the rocking property and the comparison of open side. Yeah. Then, then it, uh, I prove that uh, uh, that the D action uh, uh, has those two properties. So, yeah, if you prove you have those two properties, it's much different, much more difficult to prove the, uh, the, the, the three statements. Or you have to go through the. Uh, yeah, for the for, for the Z for D, yes, it's yes. The the natural way, the only, only way really is first to prove these two properties. Yes. Yeah, for me, yes. Yes, it's, a, it's hard. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, for, for me, that's. Yeah, actually, it's approved under these three conclusions. Uh, are all reduced to the um, to the weak tracial approximation. It's uh, uh, the routing property basically give us the uh, the some some weak tracial approximation property. So so any element here is really something with the cones, uh, some cones small element. So, so sorry, some trace small element plus something in a homogeneous algebra. Uh, comes from the Rockling Tower, and uh, and and uh, the COS uh, guarantee you that the the small trace element has a small uh, is small in the cone semi group. Then 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 you can yeah then then you really can play. Uh, uh, it's several. Yeah, it's uh, it it, uh, it really takes several uh, lots of work. I mean, uh, uh, this uh, this is one paper, and there is one paper about this stability. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh, 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 maybe after I, I should have put everything into a single paper, but anyway, it's not hard. It's a uh, uh, mean dimension zero implies the, the stability that's a single paper, but then there is, there is uh, another paper with, with, with Chen Guang Li, we proved the, the, the stable rank one. Then in that paper, we, 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 uh, we showed the uh, we we showed the 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 Tom Winter conjecture, so uh, it holds. Uh, and and then there is a paper uh, uh, show that the uh, that sort of the action really have uh, really have those uh, two properties. Uh, and there is a one to to talk about this on uh, for the sister dynamical systems, but. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so uh, so if you really look at this um, uh, paper, if you look at the proof, the 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 thing we really used is not really the mean dimension. Well, in the proof, uh, what we use is is uh, the small uh, boundary uh, property of the dynamical system. So what is that here? Uh, a small boundary property. Yeah. So we have this dynamical system. This uh, has a, a small boundary. Property. If uh, uh, so, this is a whole space uh, X. If uh, uh, whenever you have a, a closed site, and uh, 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 open neighborhood, so whenever you have uh, this uh, uh, V uh, inside the U. And this V is closed. This U is open. You are able to find out some. Uh, I use it. I have this. You are able to find out some uh, 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 open neighborhood of uh, uh, V, so that uh, if you look at the boundary. The boundary has a, a uniform small or maybe just a zero measure under all invariant measure. Whenever you have this, then there exists a, a, um, W in between uh, such that you look at the boundary, then the 
the miser is zero for all uh, invariant miser of, uh, of the dynamical system. So this is uh, this small boundary property and uh, it is exactly this property being used in our proof. We, we uh, the, 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 the small dimension ratio things, uh, uh, at least in that paper, it's, uh, we got some difficulty how to use, use this directly because we, we, we have some, uh, uh, we have some uh, uh, sub-homogeneous algebras. If you want to use uh, this uh, small dimension ratio things, then you have to take care of the boundary, the boundary map. Then, then, then there are some really some difficulties. Uh, but uh, But if we uh, talk about uh, small boundary properties, then, uh, then we not only, well, of course here, we, we, you are talking about the small boundary properties for, uh, for dynamical systems. Then you also can talk about the small boundary property for AH algebra with a diagonal map. Or you just uh, talk about the small boundary property for for any C star algebra with uh, some uh, given a uh, distinguished uh, uh, commutative sub C star algebra. Okay, uh, let's talk about it in, in this setting. Uh, now let B uh, in A, A is just a sum C star algebra, and this B is uh, uh, some C of X, some, some commutative C star algebra. And, uh, uh, it's unital, okay. everything are unital here. Uh, so let, uh, let A be a commutative with sub C star algebra. And then you have a space X, you can, you can just talk about the same thing. The, the, but uh, instead of uh, all traces, well, the, the what, what should be the substitute for uh, invariant measure? You just look, all the measure, uh, all the traces comes from A. Any trace on A on the big algebra give you a trace on the sub algebra, then you have a master. So, so let's consider this pair. Uh, then it uh, uh, has a, a small boundary property. If uh, by definition, if you have the same picture there, so. So 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 you uh, so this is x. Whenever you have a a, a pair, uh, a closed side, open side, then you are you are going to have something in the middle such that uh, uh, you look the boundary. Then the measure uh, is uh, zero for all uh, measure. This measure comes from uh, uh, the trace of. Uh, the bigger algebra, but how this uh, how this uh, can be applied to uh, AH algebra with the diagonal maps? Well, for AH algebra with the diagonal maps, you know diagonal diagonal that automatically there is a very distinguished uh, subalgebra, commutative subalgebra. In fact, it's even a Cartan subalgebra. No, it's 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 just a stay there. I I to use a different uh, different about. Yeah. So. So. So example. The example. Uh, something not from the dynamical system. Um, maybe example zero is, is just C of X inside C of X cross gamma. So this is the 
this actually is that example. And uh, now suppose we have an A, a H algebra with a diagonal max. So A uh, being a H algebra with a diagonal max. So then we have uh, C of X one uh, go to uh, mat some matrix algebra over C of X two uh, and so on, so on. And the, uh, it's with a diagonal map. So, so, so you have some F, you always send it to diagonal. So F composed with something, F composed with something. So in your okay for general log shift algebra, you are taking the subalgebra of D that contains your max. D is uh, is some commutative algebra, so it 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 is the C of X for some max. Okay, so yes. So you are doing the same definition of here. Yes. But okay, you are saying the mu is a is a trace of A. Yes. But Okay, new is a measure. Yes, uh, it's a it's a trace. It, it's a trace, so it, it gave us a measure. Well, it's, okay. it will give you the measure if you consider the trace this side. This yes. Side. So this is what you are doing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The restriction of uh, a trace from uh, a larger algebra, okay. the ambient so algebra. W and the of w, uh, still in the computer side. Just, just like well, this uh, uh, yes. Over here, we, we we are really looking at X. Oh. I mean, we, it's it's X. Yes. Uh, so W is uh, there exists some open side. Some 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 open side. And, uh, I'm running ahead of it, but like that, that definition doesn't. You don't really need like uh like a like a a space with a homomorphism. That definition makes sense if you're working for with a group point, for example. Exactly. But 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 that, that that's a group point algebra. So why can't you just kind of do the same definition for the group point first? You can. Theory? Oh, you can. Yeah. You 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 really can. In fact, uh, you, you can even forget about uh, the ambient algebra. It's just a C of X with some uh, uh, some closed subset of uh, the traces. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, the, 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 the thing really the, that's that's also our motivation. This, this also should work for group point, Cartan subalgebra, and so on. So this this is a H algebra with diagonal map. Now now you see that you you have a diagonal which 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 is a commutative with this algebra. You 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 send it here again. It's a commutative with this algebra, and keep doing this. Then then you you are going to have a D, which which is which is the inductive limit of the diagonals. Uh, then. Then small boundary property, uh, uh, by that theorem, small boundary property implies uh, the algebra is a Jiangsu stable. And for AH algebra with the diagonal maps, you have the same thing. The small boundary property implies, I mean, uh, for diagonals, this small boundary property, it implies the Jiangsu stability. So, So for the algebra we are really care about, uh, small boundary property implies the Jiangsu stability. For that algebra, or maybe the, the AH algebra with the diagonal maps, the small boundary property implies uh, Z. Stability. You can see that uh, 
uh, for those algebras, the small boundary property is a, a kind of uh, property on measures. Like if your algebra has unique trace, then auto automatically it has a small boundary properties. But somehow they, they really imply this capability. And this uh, conclusion cannot be true for general cyst algebra. For example, you have a Villas algebra of the second type. It has a unique trace, but uh, it's not this really stable. And, uh, and then, uh, so here you see a ramp, it's a light A, B, uh, A, H, A, H algebra with diagonal maps. Or let A, uh, B, C of X cross gamma. Uh, over here, I do need uh, uh, the uh, the rockling property with the uniform rockling property. Then uh, you look at the trace simplex. Then this is a Bauer simplex. This uh, implies small boundary property. So then in particular with that theorem, the algebra has to be uh, Z stable. And you don't need uh, any uh, restriction on the, on the dimension of the uh, extreme boundaries. I mean, as long as it's a Bauer simplex, it has a, uh, small bound so so something on the on why 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 is power oh, why uh, why power simplex implies a small boundary property uh, So, so we need one characterization of uh, of the small boundary property. Just just use uh, traces. Uh, lima. Uh, uh, let's say uh, B uh, with uh, inside some big algebra. This uh, has. Uh, Small boundary property. I, I actually, you, you, you even don't need uh, this big algebra. But uh, but let's uh, let's write it there. Uh, if uh, uh, for any n uh, is uh, some uh, natural number, uh, there are uh, projections p one, p two, uh, p n. They are going to uh, uh, they are in this space. Uh, each projection is a, is a sequence of uh, positive elements of D. So they are, they are in the sequence algebra. Modular, uh, modular the thing uh, converge to zero under uniformly under traces. So you modulo some bigger, uh, bigger, uh, well, modulo everything go to zero uniformly under traces. And those are projections, mutually orthogonal, add up to one. Uh, so you want uh, that, uh, such as that uh, you uh, use those projections, you cut everything. You cut everything in D. Maybe I should write X in, in, in D. Then you look at trace. Uh, uh, it should be uh, very, uh, cut things very even. So, so basically you need this property. Uh, this property will imply this small boundary property. 
and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and you don't need a Bauer simplex or anything here, but you will need a Bauer simplex in uh, to get those p. So how to do that? Uh, so how to do that? Uh, uh, that's where we use uh, the uh, first. We we really we want to use the rockling property. So that's where the rockling property being used. So so, so what is the rockling property? The rockling property basically tell you that uh, so here is the whole space. You can. You can decompose your whole space into let's say only one tower, into into level size. Uh, this level go to next. This go to next. Uh, but uh, but the leftover, the point that you are not really covered, has a very small trace uniformly. So under this algebra, the the uniform go to zero, so you can ignore it. So once you have this level site. Uh, you you see that suppose you uh, suppose this n is a two, how how can we cut thing cut everything into two? Uh, you look the first uh, first batch of level sets, then the then the second batch of level sets. Each of them well say only being moved by uh, half, uh, only moved by one step. Then this is. Uh, uh, is that this one? Uh, yeah, this is the site. This is the site uh, cut, uh, uh, not cut everything in half, but cut one in half. Sorry, I should say this. Uh, so far, it cuts the whole space uh, in half, not cut everything in half. Uh, but uh, but then you use Bauer simplex. Uh, I mean the limit of extremal trace is extreme. It's, uh, it cut every cut uh, cut uh, cut everything in half, uh, and uh, uh, um, maybe it's something like uh, uh, see in the tens uh, in the product trace in general a, a product uh, uh, a trace on the product space is not a product trace. But if you have extremal trace on the product uh, space, it has to be a product trace. So this is uh, because the, the, the limit of the extremal trace, then it's, uh, it's, uh, it's extremal. Yes. Yeah, so, so then with the plus uh, Bauer, you, you get that property. One is a yeah. Well, that's uh, uh, you use Bauer Bauer simplex. So you the, yes, yes. You just uh, proof right here. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, no, I'm not really giving you a full proof, but well, roughly, well, okay. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a basically uh, basically you you want to show that uh, trace A times B yeah. is uh, uh, close to trace A times the trace of B, but uh, now this B is one of those P. Yeah. Uh, now now. It's it's uh, uh, this uh, well this is going to be hold uniformly for all tau. Uh, you use the Bauer simplex seems to get there. And uh, I'm I'm not giving you the the full detail of the proof now, but but that's roughly what you you want to have. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, uh, in this case, because because the rocking property, you choose those pi uh, uh, approximate commute with the big algebra. Yeah. Uh, so so approximate commute with the big algebra. Yeah. So, um, so. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, that's roughly the argument that goes. Maybe I should say this, this part is not, uh, uh, it's not really my argument. I mean, this argument being used in the paper of, uh, paper of uh, uh, uniform uniform property gamma and so on. Yeah. So whenever you have a Bauer simplex and uh, uh, a central, a trace central sequence, and that uh, that projection cut, uh, cut uh, the identity evenly, then it will cut everything evenly. It will. Okay, I'm just uh, curious. Where, where you get the, the conversion sequence of your Well, you think about, uh, uh, you, you, you use uh, that PI approximate commuter yeah. with A, then, then, then you look, uh, uh, you look something like uh, you have a tau, uh, say this is your trace, and then you use, uh, uh, then you use another trace, uh, you, 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 then you cut everything. By p, yeah. uh, then you uh, divide the you uh, the, then you divide by trace of p. Then assume they are extremal. Then this 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 two should be like, let's let's call this this is a this is a. Then then these two should be very close. Yeah. Uniformly, these two are very close, and this is exactly what you want there. <laughs> Commuting gives you a part. The thing that commutes then is like a tensor part. Yeah. But uh, that's with extreme traces. So, how do you get the if you want parameter traces? Well, we, 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 we use this for extreme matrices. Yeah, we, we, we use this for, 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 for our extreme matrices. And it's 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 a true it's a true uh, and this is a true uniformly for all all extreme matrices. Then then then, oh, right. then we are good. It's, uh, where where does power come in? Well, uh, to get this, really? yeah, to 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 get this. Okay. Uh, well, one thing, the only thing I can actually see is that if you have, if you have something like a potential product, yes. therefore, if it's a stream trace, then it's a product. Yes. That's just a stream trace. And then we have a stream trace. No, 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 no. Oh, well, you, in fact, uh, uh, I, I, I did this argument uh, uh, 
uh, two, two or three weeks ago. You, it's not that strict. Well, you, you use a contradiction. You assume this is not true, then, then go back to A, it converge to something. Uh, it's it's an extreme trace, then it's, it's, it's not that uh, strict. Well, what you're saying is that this, this paper is possible Yes. Yes, yes, it's basically yeah. it's been around for a couple of years and we've all had time to to uh, to, to absorb it. Um, so we, uh, so it's not quite appropriate to be asking about it now. Mm, no, it's uh, <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. Well, yeah. you know, well that, 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 that's my conclusion. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we, uh, if we if I if I want to ask that question, I should go and look up the paper. We're just out of time. I'm sure. Well, we're just out of time. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I still wonder. So, uh, because I focus on data, so is SBP stronger than URP? What's that? Uh, is SBP stronger than URP? I mean, yeah, in, in general, if you have a small boundary property, you, you have, uh, I forget the name. Yes, for, 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 for free and minimal, probably not, you don't need, even need a, a minimality, but for free, free system, you, 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 you automatically have a rockling tower and, and you, you even make, a, you, you, you can make uh, make uh, the, the, the the diameter are small, um, yeah, but, but but in general, rock, uh, uh, in general, rockling property is stronger. I mean, for for any uh, side or that d action, minimal and free, they always have a rockling property, but not always have a small boundary property. Because I I have uh, earlier results in my Oh, under rockling property mean dimension zero is equivalent to small boundary property. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to look for some Yeah, we'll talk, talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's thank the uh, speaker again. Thank you for the wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you.